How's it going guys? Welcome back to Manti Gaming. So as you can see, I am on Old School RuneScape and as the title says, I have been converted. Well, not converted. I'm not quitting RS3. I am just going to be playing both games now. So if you watch from my previous videos, I started off like, you know, I was going to do like a little short series, Old School RuneScape, and I ended up not doing that. Uh, I am actually going to do that now. So it's not really going to be a short series about Old School RuneScape. I'm actually going to just going to start playing Old School RuneScape legitimately. So uh, this is going to go alongside my RS3 content. So if you like both games, then this is going to be a great channel for you, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, um, I have been playing Old School RuneScape a bit. Uh, definitely, as you saw in the previous videos, if you saw those. So um, this right here is my total progress so far. You can take a look through those skills if you want to. It's not really that great. So I am basically starting off a brand new account. Um, this is like none of this is really anything difficult to get to um what i did so far is i did like my i afk crabs for basically all of this for basically all of my combat i afk crabs i did some dragon bones in the altar which you saw in the previous uh, old school runescape video that i made um and uh, so i got to 45 prayer i'm gonna keep going on prayer later on uh i did some fishing just some basic fishing i did a little bit of basic smithing i think i actually got smithing from doing uh the the quest uh oh, nope i actually haven't done that quest yet so scratch that <laughs> um no and, and you and you can see right here my, my quest my quest progress is not really that great i did some pretty basic quests i did like earn the chicken the restless ghost room mysteries uh, animal magnetism uh druidic ritual which is an obvious one uh jungle potion lost tribe is actually lost tribe is almost done i guess i haven't completed that one uh priest in peril which is a you know a, a must-have tourist trap i started the trino village for some reason uh waterfall quest which everyone should be doing in the, in the beginning is waterfall quest but that's really it so i have a lot of uh quests uh to really work on uh sorry achievement diaries and stuff like that i've really not done anything for those like hardly anything so that'll be kind of exciting to start working on i am actually legitim legitimately excited to start working on some of this stuff so uh, I am really actually looking forward to doing that because, you know, it's kind of like starting fresh. Like, I really haven't done much in Old School RuneScape. Really, all I do in Old School RuneScape personally is just like flipping, um, a lot of overnight flipping, stuff like that. So I do some active flipping and stuff like that, um, but that's really about it. So I really have not done much for Old School RuneScape, so I'm actually pretty excited to dive into it. Uh, as far as the rest of my skills go, uh, not really much to say here. I did some fletching because it was all bank standing. Um, I did some wood cutting because it was AFK. I did a little bit of agility, not much, 37. So, you know, nothing really to talk about here, but I'm definitely making some progress as we go along. I'll go show you guys what's going on in the Grand Exchange. So, let's go back to that. I'll show you guys what's going on in the bank and stuff like that because, you know, you know, everyone likes to see what's going on in the bank. Um, as you can see, first of all, which is kind of cool, is I do have the RuneFest shield. So the last 2000, 2017 RuneFest I did go to. Um, I still don't know if I'm going to the 2018 one. I have no idea. If you really want me to go, then convince me. But uh, um, um, I'm not sure if I'm going. But anyway, this is a really cool shield from 2017. So I'm happy to have that on this account uh, to work with. Um, and then let's see what we got going on in the bank. So in the bank, some pretty basic stuff. This is not sorted out at all yet. Um, this is just what I've got going on right now. Nothing special. Um, also, right here, I've got these uh, bolts. Uh, I got some runes and stuff. Uh, I, I was doing some bolt tipping as well as some bolt enchanting. I'm definitely going to be diving more into that. You'll definitely see me doing that in some of these uh, episodes coming up, uh, sort of videos coming up. Um, and I've got my dragon axe for wood cutting, obviously. Uh, I just went and, and AFK'd some of these shades because they were kind of fun because, you know, in RS3, we don't really have much of. Uh, much to say about uh, safe spotting anymore, so it's, it was kind of fun to go test some safe spotting for old school RuneScape, and uh, yeah, that was kind of fun. Although the experience is pretty bad, so I'm not going to go back and do that again. Um, I am actually pretty excited about the fact that I can do like admin bolts, like like fletching in old school RuneScape. Which obviously, if you are a player of old school RuneScape, then you already know this. Um, but here is some of my other supplies. So these these bolts and everything, I might move them. I, I am going to organize this. Uh, long story short, I am going to organize this. So. You'll see some better organization organization coming up, um, but anyway, these bolts. It's kind of fun because uh, you know, uh, in old school or in old school RuneScape, you can do like the the spam clicky kind of thing uh, of like fletching this. So that's actually pretty fun. That's that's actually one of the reasons why I got my fletching to seventy seven is one of my higher skills I've got right now is just because I was super entertained that we can do this again. Um, so I was actually running some agility courses and doing this. So I do plan on doing that combination of the agility course plus fletching. I might set up some mouse keys because I'm pretty sure mouse keys are still allowed um you know maybe confirm that for me in the comments below but i'm almost positive they're still allowed i don't think there's any issue with mouse keys um definitely not gonna be using auto hotkeys or anything like that obviously but uh, mouse keys i'm pretty sure they're okay so i might uh, set some of those up for doing this fletching um but I've got some other supplies here. I've got these jug of water. I've also got these grapes. Uh, I am, and if you look at my Grand Exchange, 
Uh, I am buying, oops, not wrong thing. I am buying 60,000 total grapes. Uh, so I am planning on actually buying uh, my 99 and cooking. So cooking is probably going to end up being my first 99 on this on this account because of the fact that uh, um, I honestly can't believe how cheap it is to do grapes because they are ridiculously fast uh, XP. I'm pretty sure they're the fastest XP in the game unless something has changed. Um, and then uh, jug of water, I'm buying 60,000 of these. So essentially for the cost of roughly 9 million probably total, um, I'll be able to get 99 cooking. So I definitely think, I definitely definitely think it's worth it to knock that out early on. Um, also buying a bunch of feathers because I'm probably gonna train some fishing to get my fishing up, and also gonna be using these using these for fletching. Uh, you know, the obviously buying the unfinished adamant bolts and stuff like that to fletch them. So a little a little tip I can give you guys too. Uh, instead instead of actually trying to copy my prices, if you guys are interested in buying some of this stuff, what I would actually recommend doing is actually trying to pay less than what I'm paying on some of these things. So if you are you know a lot okay. I'm pretty used to people on my RS3, you know, really wanting to copy what I'm doing and, uh, you know, kind of like do that because of the fact that, you know, economy stuff is what I do for RuneScape. Like, that's what I love to do in RuneScape is like the economy stuff. So um, if you are the kind of person that would like to kind of copy what I'm doing as far as this to make money or something like that, I would highly recommend you don't really copy these, but instead try to buy them for less because as you can see, these are buying for like this. So Diamond Bolts, for example, 407 on the mid, I'm buying 371. And they are buying like this, and that's not all of them I bought. I bought a total of 12.8K so far, and I just put the offer in today. So um, as you can see, stuff like this, uh, all these bolts and everything buy for way less than mid. And then if you're just looking to make some quick money, then you can just resell them for mid. So they know that's a quick way to make money. Um, I am pretty good at making money on old school just for basic GE like stuff like that. I am obviously going to be learning some new stuff uh, as far as like PVM or money making methods and stuff like that, which I'm going to be putting that out. Um, so if you guys are looking forward to money making methods and stuff like that for old school RuneScape, then you're going to see it. Um, but uh, yeah, just some really basics, you know, slice stuff like this, like paying less because obviously, you know, these are, you know, high volume. So people, yeah, whatever you get, you get the idea. Um, and I'm buying diamond bolts tips because I'm going to be making these too, uh, because the XP is actually pretty great. So if you look over here for these, uh, adamants, and I'm not gonna make this whole video about my fletching experience, but anyway, um, I enjoy doing this because this is pretty fast experience. Um, you know, 70 XP drops is pretty sweet. Obviously you can get quicker than that, but this is a pretty nice, you know, way to kind of AFK fletching. So fletching is, you know, between fletching and cooking, those are going to be some of my first, uh, 99s most likely as far as I plan. Um, and we're going to see what happens, uh, you know, in the future. But anyway, um, this is also something I got going on. I'm, I'm collecting, uh, burnt foods. So previously what I was doing is I was just grabbing burnt foods every time that I saw them on the ground. So if you guys have burnt foods or something like that, that you would like to throw me, then just let me know and I'll meet you up in game and you can give me your burnt foods and, and, uh, also crush, crush gems and, uh, vials. Uh, I have zero intention to ever resell these, so I am not trying to flip them for profit or anything like that. This is purely just for me to collect, so if you want to help out my collection, then uh, let me know. Um, this right here is what I've got for, like, I went to a PvP world and did a little bit of looting, so I'm going to be doing that again. I'll probably make an entire video of me doing PvP looting because it's kind of fun, and it's also an okay way for me to make some early money um, on a new account. As far as this account's wealth, we're going to be starting off with... Uh, um, you know, basically what I've got here for wealth. Um, so, uh, I would say we're at about 80 million gold. So you can just count the uh, beginning of this old school RuneScape account at about 80 million gold. Um, I have, I, I do do old school RuneScape to RS3 swaps. So I did have more money, but I've swapped off most of it back to RS3. Um, if you're interested in swaps, by the way, you can just join the discord. Although right now, currently I don't have enough old school RuneScape to do that. Also, a little side note about that too, is as I am making these videos and everything like that, I'm not going to include any kind of swapped gold into my total. I'm also I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that completely separate. Um, I actually have another um, old school RuneScape alt um, that I'm gonna be using for my swaps, which will make which will make it so that I can keep this account completely clear of any swaps. That way we can actually see how the account progresses because that's fun. So we're gonna be starting off this account at 80 million gold with these stats and this uh, this progress, so you guys can see what's gonna be going on. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see because, you know, obviously, like I said, I am very new to old school RuneScape and uh, I'm just going to be, you know, starting off fresh. So I want to make some content you guys want to see and I'm down to do pretty much whatever. I'm not really going to get into staking, um, at least not right now. Um, so please don't request that. Um, but other stuff definitely going to be doing. Uh, but anyway, guys, see you guys in the next video and we'll see where our path is going to go. All right, everybody. See you guys.